интернет-магазин одежды. Online garments shop, thousands of items, thousands of brands, endless filters. You go through it, and after an hour, you have not found anything, and you don't know if it fits. The other picture, you have an app. It knows your style, your image. You get the clothes that combine with each other. This is a kind of an assistant. That helps you to understand what garments to to choose. Now it is a reality. Petal Arcolzi from La Moda will um, show you how it works. Всем привет. Hi everyone. My name is Piotr, and I'm going to talk about virtual stylist. I would like to land AI on uh, the following. The topic is uh, <laughs> kind of sacred on the one hand, on the other hand it's pretty down to earth. What to wear, what style to have. In La Moda we know perfectly well that people have problems of uh, combining uh, things. They don't know what uh, fits them, what to wear. Every day we try to resolve this task. You know, it might be a simple choice in some cases, or it might be a torture uh, with uh, hours spent and, you know, your nervous system being wrecked. And now, I'm going to talk about a change in, the, uh, in, the, in this approach. We have an, a corporate part here, a party at the office. So you have to understand what to wear without spending a lot of time and resources and to have a good mood. If you know about this style, you can go the classical. Uh, there's a classical way to go to the brick and mortar store and to find some clothes there. This is how we resolve the tasks. We went shopping. You have to spend a couple of hours, go through some shops in, this, in the shopping mall. You try to understand how it fits. It's very hard to navigate through the shopping malls. Now let's go through to a digital space and a marketplace. Yes, the uh, choice is much, is much greater. It's all available in your smartphone, but there are limitations. First of all, you have to understand what filters to choose, what areas of catalog you have to go through, what sections of the catalog you have to go through. And sometimes you need to understand how to formulate your search request, because the machines don't understand everything. And this is a complicated task as well. And to get inspired, to get references, to understand the color scheme that we're talking about, and to understand what will fit, what will be in line with the style. To get inspired, you can go to Pinterest and other image platforms. You will see a lot of content, but you will still have to resolve the task of putting up, of, you know, collecting the, uh, the clothes, the clothes items. Usually in, in Pinterest and other platforms, they don't have the codes for the clothes, so you have to collect it manually and to search for it manually. Now, the corporate style is pretty standard. I mean, online you can find a lot of articles about any style, about any piece of garment. But uh, what are the components uh, uh, that are needed for a good look. First is the visual combination. It's not that you have to find some parameters, some descriptions. So you have to think about the uh, overall image. In La Moda, we train neural network to select the uh, images, uh, the look, to select the look. Um, uh, based on the uh, on the on the data on that we're talking about the, the the fashions and also the AI helps to find the um, the clothes um, that are available that are in store 
Now, uh, some people have broad shoulders, or some people want to make them look broader. Some they want. Some people want to ac accentuate some parts of their body or hide them. And here you have the personalized recommendations based on your views and your looks and recommendations and previous data. And we will show you the things that will fit. The preferences can be also selected. But we're talking more about the tools. We're talking about the uh, neural networks, about uh, our algorithms. But it's not really intelligence, right? Now, the question. This old money style. What I mean, how to distinguish between real old money style and like fake old money style, and to get the to get the understanding, the basic understanding of what it is. Uh, you can use AI. Our chatbot can be used. Uh, it will give you the major uh, properties of old money. Usually it's, uh, it's beige or um, some neutral colors, it's loafers or some classical shoes. And having read all that, we'll say, okay, yeah, that looks okay, but we are going to a an office party that starts in a couple of days. So we can, f and here we say, okay, we can find you the, uh, the clothes for that, and it is in line with the uh, things that you want to find. Now, AI talks the same language with you. You don't have to find the filters. You don't have to make the search request e uh, e simpler. You might find a T-shirt and not an old money um, uh, look. Now, we talked about the images, about this overall style and look, you know, and customizing everything for yourself in one product that will help you to resolve all of your clothes, clothing tasks. And let's talk about how it actually works. How to make sure that you can work with that. So the first and the key thing is data. And you will heard about that on this uh, conference. Data are needed for AI. And you have a lot to have a lot of training sets for that. And it might be different formats. The dialogues with the stylists and clients can be the description of the looks and the selection of good looks. Uh, articles where we give an algorithm some knowledge in terms of what are different styles, what are thing, things that can be combined and should not be combined. And then training, sometimes we we'll ask a model to generate the dialogue fully or to continue the dialogue. So these are different formats that are put within one picture as a uh, part of the puzzle. And then you have to have validated, there are some offline metrics. We cannot test uh, every version of the algorithm on every user and to get statistically viable information and metrics. And obviously, you have to reiterate that uh, over and over again. Sometimes they're following patterns which we don't want. We had a case with monochrome or uh, with dialog chains where the AI learned not something that we wanted it to. And then when. Uh, only then we realized how it happened. So going through many, many stages after collecting a lot of data, can we say that it's enough to fully uh, digitize fashion and use just one bot uh, to get uh, the solution for all needs? Uh, no, for the better or worse. Because a very important of fashion is the feeling, is about creativity about self-explication. It's something that we have inside. Someone expresses themselves through fashion, someone through other things, and it is fantastic. We cannot teach the AI or even a complex model to be a person. Uh, um, the, the AI cannot think as a person. But it can help you find some looks or something that you want to wear, what kind of impression you want to make, uh, what kind of look do you want to choose, a conservative one 
or may maybe a rowdy one and it can help you choose your clothes so if it's a good AI if it's a trained AI if it learns much about fashion then it can match you with the goods that you actually need help you choose your look select the clothes so you know digitizing fashion completely is not the thing we should do because there are people and there are tools that allow them to solve a problem and you know a stylist is an AI stylist something that can make fashion affordable if you don't have the time or the interest to invest hours into uh, s uh, studying references you could go directly to the ready looks and then adapt them to your needs and find something that uh, builds upon what you feel. Thank you very much.